This fatir actually dates back to the times of the ancient Egyptians, fatir mashaltet. So fatir is a flaky uh, Egyptian layer pastry. It is served with uh, black honey, which is really just molasses extracted from sugar cane, which is very commonly grown here in Egypt, especially during the summer. <laughs> Hello from the Nile River here in Cairo. So today I'm going to be showing you guys Fatir. I'm on an island here in Amanial at a restaurant called Usama. With the Sultan. Eh? Ben the Sultan. Okay, and that means the Sultan's daughter. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> So I'm at a restaurant called The Sultan's Daughter to show you guys fatir. And let me explain what fatir is. So fatir is a flaky uh, Egyptian layered pastry. It is layered with many thin layers of, of dough and ghee. And then it is served with many different fillings. Um, you can have either sweet or savory. The sweet fillings can be filled with um, things like Nutella or chocolate or mahalabeya. What is it? Mahal what? Mahalabeya, okay. milk pudding. Okay, yeah. right, like Mahalabeya or Malban, which I'm not even sure what that is. I think it's like Turkish. Don't kill me if I'm wrong, guys. <laughs> um, and then savory fillings can also, oh, the sweets could also be like served with cheese, and then savory could also be with cheese or ground beef or different types of meats like that, um, sausage. And so today I am getting the original plain fatir known as fatir mashaltet. Fatir mashaltet, yes. And that is just plain fatir uh, soaked in honey. And this fatir actually dates back to the times of the ancient Egyptians, fatir mashaltet. A lot of times uh, fatir is eaten for breakfast, or so I'm told. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. To be honest, I don't eat fatir all that often. I'm eating a lot of other items like mashi and falafel and ful more often than fatir, but apparently it is more commonly eaten for breakfast, um, especially the mesheltet. Mesheltet. <laughs> okay, so it is served with uh, black honey, which is really just molasses extracted from sugar cane, which is very commonly grown here in Egypt, especially during the summer. The climate is very great for growing it. So black honey, but here, mish, mish, what? Mishaltet. <laughs> Mishaltet. I cannot say that every time. And then we also have this old cheese, which can be found on a salad um, on a lot of menus. Very strong flavored. So, yes, let's try it. Let's see the many layers. I need to set this down to try this. And I've had it, it's good. <laughs> mm. Yes. I wonder if this is vegan. You think it's vegan? No. He is. Mm. This has milk? I thought ghee was, I thought ghee was vegan. Ghee was vegan? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, as a, get a close-up of this. Yeah. Getting back to the times of the ancient Egyptians. So there's a few, Molokai is another one that's a um, very ancient dish here in Egypt. 
and Fatir. Anyways, guys, all right. I just wanted to show you that briefly. Beautiful spot here on the Nile. <laughs> Thank you, Sama, for explaining um, some of these items since I don't know what they mean in Arabic or what they are exactly. No, I'm not speaking. <laughs> it, what, what does Mishaltit mean? I don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> I really have no idea, as in it's an Arabic word, so. All right, guys, well, we're going to enjoy this, um, but yeah, this is a nice spot. I'll leave the location of this place uh, in the description of the video. And yeah, try fatir while you're here. There's a lot of different varieties. I actually usually like the meat a lot just because I eat a lot of meat perhaps. Um, but the one with honey is very delicious as well. And especially with the, the black honey molasses. So, all right. Thanks for coming along, guys. I will see you on the next one.